how to create a rigid body simulation for Second Life using Battle Body. Make sure to press 1 and be in a front orthographic view. Delete the sun and the camera pressing cancel button. Now just move up and uh, select this face and uh, press the eye button to insect the face or otherwise you can use a, there's a panel right here where there is written inside the faces and after that you can move it a little bit after that press extrude the region and uh, bring it down till a desired point now let's exit from edit mode and let's go in object mode let's scale a little tiny bit in this way and uh, now uh, just make sure to add another cube press s to resize and uh, move to move it up after that you want to make it a little bit tiny so it's fine go in edit mode again and uh, click on uh, uh, bevel when uh, you apply the bevel you will notice that uh, um, this object is uh, now looking in this manner that is fine we want to play with uh, some different object so let's go again in uh, object mode and uh, that's a shade this move with the right click and apply the scale now click on the box that we created and go to physics property and click on rigid body and set it to passive and uh, as a shape choose mesh and uh, click on the, this uh, cube that we modified apply the rigid body apply mesh now if uh, we bring it up you can see it falls and go so uh, we want to make sure that it is a trapped inside so let's make this a little bit more like that and we can play with the values so uh, let's say that uh, we don't want the friction and uh, yeah it will be like that so now what next uh, we are gonna click on n in our keyboard and uh, go to bend the body and uh, click on um, shape shifter simulation let's choose object and uh, let's click on action now as you can see i got uh, this thing so i'm gonna select both and i'm gonna click again on action now we have two bones this is a uh, perfect for what we want to do so now I'm gonna click on the bones and click on the bake simulation and after that I'm gonna click again on the boy on the, the bone and click join objects now when I press play you can see that uh, my ball is right there bouncing inside and this is uh, what I want so let's go on template creator editor we saw a snap mapper and uh, let's click on add mesh and uh, that's the right distance right here about three meters and off so when i click connection um skeleton will appear right here now i can select my bones select save and click on deposit and i can click on the reset stage and show mesh now those bones are mapped and we are ready for the retargeting process we are gonna retarget this animation for second life so in order to do this let's click on the character tool panel and uh, retarget motion this is a custom rig so we want to glue and then we are ready to click action button and we are ready to bring that in a second life in order to do that i will just go on um, the animation and uh, i'm gonna choose a frame that i like of the animation to export so maybe 135 
So I'm gonna write 135 right here. And I'm gonna go in the anim export feature. Export the animation. Give it a name, BB animation. And it is exported. Now, if I click on my object and I go to mesh tool, uh, to mesh export, I can see that uh, there is a, a map of the mesh only panel when, where I can export my mesh. And I can export it on um, my desktop. So I'm gonna call it video test and save it. Now we are ready for go to second life. So let's do this. Okay, we are in second life. We are gonna go on the load our model and uh, we are gonna pick up our video test file and uh, when I go on the rigging, I make sure I have uh, include, the joint point pos uh, include the joint position checked and I'm gonna go to upload it. After that, I go to my cube right here that is uh, uh, there. So I'm gonna upload the animation that I exported uh, from um, my uh, bundle body. And uh, after that, I'm gonna insert it right here. I'm gonna use an animation script. Uh, so I would just drag and drop. And uh, I'm, this is the wrong one. And uh, I'm gonna put The script and to check on uh, animated mesh and mesh so now if uh, I click I can see the ball bouncing inside and this is uh, how easy it is to bring a uh, rigid body simulation using bendel body I hope you had fun and uh, see you in the next tutorial bye bye